Okay, our next point, we are going to see what is it to be lost? What is it to be lost? Because, because Christ said that he has come to seek those who are lost. So what is it to be lost? That's the point I want us to see. Manake, tunesa kusema lost, lost, and yet we don't know what is it to be lost. Sini kweli? So ni vizuri sa zikine kuangalia some point ambaye zineza kutusaidia. So to be lost is to stray away from our proper place where we were said by Almighty. As a sheep that is lost is gone from the flock, from the fold, or pasture where it was put. So sinners are gone astray from God and from that blessed place and state which they were created. That is to be lost. Kuna vile mungu alikuwa metumba, kuna vile mungu agetaka tuishi, kuna yale mambo ambaye mungu alikuwa mweka ndani yetu, ambaye kana kwa matuge ya fuata, tugekua tunatoa matunda ya kufraisha bele manyuzu mungu. Lakini kwa sababu ya zambi, tulipotoka katika hiyo jia ya mungu, tukawa kama kondo ambaye wamepotoka ama wamepotea na they are in the wilderness. Fini kumanisha, to be lost is to be in the what? Wilderness. Nukusema umepotea na uwezi kutuwa jia ya kurudi. Umepotea na uwezi kutuwa jia ya kurudi. So, to be lost is to, to be undone. Nukusema wewe hauna remedy, you are undone. You see now, So, what is the condition of such that are lost? We all lost the knowledge of God. That's one thing. All men naturally are ignorant of God. And many say, say who is the Lord? I know not the Lord that I should obey him. To be lost, is to yani, lose all the knowledge of God. All men naturally are ignorant of God. Ata nandiyo naona, ukita kujua watu hawana knowledge of God, watu wana, wanafungua ama wanafundisha mambo masitu sana, ambaye eh, hawaelewi mungu ni nani. The knowledge of God. The mind of God. Many people don't even know what is salvation. Ata watu wanaenda makanisa yungina wajui salvation ni nini. Watu wanaenda tu wanaambiwa unaenda binguni na hata hii binguni watu watai kujua wanaenda namna gani When we say ignorant ni kusema people are ignorant of God they don't even know the mind of God you know wakati Biblia inasema that God has his elect Wengine wanasema hapana Mungu hawezi kuwa namna hiyo That means they are ignorant They have lost the life of God that blessed life the soul had in the first Adam, and by this means they are said to be spiritually dead. So even on honor, they have lost the life of God. That blessed life, the soul had in the first Adam. They have lost the life of God. They have lost the life of God. Binadamu, because of ignorance, Yeye kwa sababu anaishi na naona kwa sawa. Yeye ukimwambia he has lost the life. Hayezi kubali. What's the life of God? What is this life of God? What is this life of God? Kariuki. Hmm? What is the life of God? Mungu akiwa ndani yako that is what we have lost. We have lost the life of God. Meaning, spiritually, we are dead. <coughs> spiritually, we are dead. We don't have that life of God. Though we live, but we don't have that life of God in us. And many people, they don't want to know this life of God. 
Wengi ambao wanaenda katika makanisa hawataki kujua. They don't want to know what this life of God is. Wengi they don't even know why yani how lost are they? Wamepotea namna gani, my friend? It's very alarming. Kwa sababu watu wataki kujua. Na even the teachers ambao ni mapasta ambao wanafunisha watu still they don't want to teach them how what is it to be lost. Bado wanawaambia tu mambo ya kubarikiwa na whatever lakini how to be lost they never teach. They have lost the image of God or likeness to God in holiness and true righteousness or have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That is Roman 3:23. The glory of God which which shone forth in our first parent in the state of innocence was the image of God. Hiyo wamepoteza They have lost the communion with God. Sin has so alienated them from God that they cannot endure his presence. You see? Man has lost that love and favor of God which was let out at first while he stood a perfect and sinless creature. Hata upendo Mungu amepoteza. Sorry, upendo yani mtu amepoteza upendo yule upendo alikuwa mpatiwa na Mungu So mankind having lost God they lost their chief good in whom our happiness alone lie and in the loss of which sinner became miserable Kwa hivyo binadamu amepoteza kitu ya ajabu sana wakati anaambiwa he is in a lost condition Kwa sababu hata wakati watu wana hata hizo kuzo wakati wanasema He came to seek the lost. People don't understand. He lost ni kusema namna gani? Kwa sababu even this which was lost hawajui ni nini. Si ni kweli? Hata wana haja naye. Na ndio naona watu wengi when it comes to salvation they are very ignorant because hata ukiwaambia they are lost hawajui unasema they are lost from what. So by losing God and sinning against him All men were brought under the curse. Watu hawajui namna hiyo. By losing God and sinning against him, all men were brought under the curse. The breach of the law of the first covenant brought all mankind under the curse. And so they remain until they fight Jesus and are united to him. Kwa hivyo people are under the curse. Wakati walipoteza, wakati walipotea they became under the curse. Ukisoma Galatia 3:10 inasema for as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. So that's the way we were lost. Sasawa. So the least sin exposes the soul to God external vengeance and lays all mankind under sentence of wrath and condemnation. The least sin in some sense is an infinite evil. That big dog it is infinite evil that big dog you know what on so as sin has have lost god so god also has lost them as the shepherd has lost his sheep what are gone astray kwa hivyo hata mungu amefanya nini yeye kama sisi tumepotea hata mungu hata mungu ametupoteza ni kwa sababu ya dhambi. A shepherd know, know where his lost sheep is, neither to what danger it may be exposed. But the Lord knoweth all the evil which has befallen every sinner in the world. Lakini Mungu yani eh, anatu, anajua kila mtu hata yale yote yametokea kwa binadamu, yote Mungu anayaelewa. Hakuna kitu Mungu haelewi. Kwa hivyo When he says we are lost anajua anasema nini and we should actually believe him because yani eh, he knows truly we are lost So ya pili sina have lost themselves they know not what they have done they know not what evil is in sin You see now sinners have lost themselves They know not what they have done. They know not what evil is in sin. 
or what an evil and bitter thing it is to depart from the Lord. What to hawajui haya yote? Hawajui hata wamefanya nini? Hata hawajui hii dhambi ni kile namna gani? Hata hawajui hii dhambi Mungu anaitukia namna gani? Hakuna kitu wanajua hata watakai kujua. Ukisoma Jeremiah 2:19 nasema namna gani? Ukisoma Jeremiah 2:19 Wovu wako wovu wako mwenyewe utakurudi maasi yako yatakukaribia ujue basi ukaona ya kuwa ni jambo baya sana na uchungu kuwa umemwacha Bwana Mungu wako na ya kuwa moyoni mwako hamna kuni hofu asema Bwana wa majeshi Ebu ebu soma kigreza thy own wickedness shall correct thee and thy backsliding shall reprove thee now therefore and see that is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the lord thy god and that my fear is not in thee say the lord god of hosts yes when they see they little think they cast that as it were in the very face of god and cross his will and condemn and despise him in their heart. Hiyo ni kusema nini? Hata wakati binadamu anatenda ana, 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 ana dhambi. Hata haona haoni haonagi kama anakuwa anakosea Mungu. Kweli? Yaani kukosea Mungu haiko. Jiroge. Binadamu anafanya dhambi na kama anakosea Mungu. Hata ile kitu binadamu anaopa ni nini? Ni polisi? Ni polisi. Lakini sio dhambi. Polisi ndio wanaogopa. Kama kwa kuwa na polisi ambaye watashika mtu, watu wangefanya na zote vile zile wanataka. Lakini ile kitu binadamu anakopanga ni, ni polisi. Lakini yeye yeah, yeah, Mungu hayuko in his mind. Ati Mungu anaweza kumuona. Hivyo ndio binadamu ako. So when we say in a lost condition, ni kusema binadamu by nature hata Mungu mwenyewe hajui kama yuko. So sin is a rebellion against God. Sinners take up arms and fight against their maker. They take up arms and fight uwango wanangengana na Mungu wanataka kupigana na Mungu wanatufanya yale Mungu ataki with all their power na hakuna kitu watasikia in fact kuna hata kuna verse inasema people fight with their maker hebu iangalie 459 isa 459 hebu soma disusome jiroge Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Yes. Let the post hard strive with the post hands of the earth. <laughs> Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou all thy work? He, th- he hath no hands. You see now. So you say, Well, all the work, I shall die now, Mumba work. Kigae kimoja katika vigae vya dunia. Je, udongo kumwambie yeye aufinya aufi, auf, aufinyangaye unifanye nini au kazi yako ha, hana mikono. Mhm. They know not what boundless evil are in their base heart. Nor what they would do did not God restrain them. Hawajui yaani ile ile dhambi iko ndani yao hata binadamu haelewi yaani vile agefanya agetenda kama sio Mungu anamzuia he has lost himself be sure that he has lost the knowledge of himself he has yaani tumepoteza the knowledge of ourselves hakuna mtu anajijua na ndio unaona watu wanafanya mambo ambayo haieleweki mimi i in jail kwa sababu walitenda mambo kwa sababu hawakuwa wanajijua hata natenda kitu na unamuliza ulitenda namna gani hiyo hata mimi sijui nifanye hivyo kwa nini people have lost themselves na ndio unaona hata wale wanasema ati wanaona unakuta bado wakiwa wakisema wanaona wanafanya things against themselves you know kuna pali yani Paul anasema yani uende uhubirie wale watu who are fighting themselves kama nasema nani 
uh, uh, who are iko katika Timothy who are fighting themselves who are against themselves you see nikusema wewe wakati umechukua jukumu la kufanya kitu na hata unasimama na Mungu unasema tunafanyia Mungu kazi na truly you are not sure of yourself you don't know yourself truly you don't under, you don't understand your nature that you are foreign creature and there is no way you can please god no matter how, yani, how you pretend then you are fighting against yourself because you are fighting your maker if you are fighting your maker you are fighting against yourself yourself si ni kweli eh nikana kwamba ni kama ni kama ni kama kusema hivi hii ni fridge ya maji na hii fridge ya maji ndio unakunyia lakini tena unataka ku ikata kuikata lakini ukikata wewe una awoni kabisa ukikata utajimaliza so fighting against yourself ni kumaanisha wewe when you are fighting your maker you are fighting against yourself so they have so lost themselves that they know not how far they are gone from god wamepotea mpaka hawajui how far they have gone from god can look eh mtu ajui yako umbali gani kutoka kwa mungu lakini ukimuuliza anaona yako sawa ukimuuliza anaona yako sawa na naomba na anasema mungu amelipa lakini yeye ameenda umbali sana na mungu lakini ata ye hajui all at what woeful distance sin has set them from the holy cause in, in respect to their state and condition unakuta asina ni jina tu hata kuna pali Mungu alisema nani amekupatia ruhusa ya kuweka jina lako katika mikono yako tena kusema ha ni ni sams eh nani amekupatia ruhusa ya kuweka ya kuweka jina langu mdomo wako wewe and you are sinner mimi people don't even know that wakati wanaweka jina la Mungu katika mdomo kusema Mungu amenisaidia amefanya Mungu kwanza hana yani anasikia vibaya sana because you are using his name without his authority sijui ungetafuta hiyo verse iko mama boy Okay. Neither do they know what fearful fages hangs over their head nor will they believe it when it is told them that God abhorred them and all religion service and worship they pretend to perform unto him. You see, hata hawajui ni nini ambaye inawagojea no matter what type of religion ambaye wana yani yani eh, wame wamechukua hapa duniani ku pretend that wanampenda Mungu The very prayer of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord They know not their state and condition You see the wicked are so far lost as to themselves that they know not whither they are going They little think or know where that path they take will lead them for they are blind or in darkness Our joy binadamu haelewi hata ile jia amechukua ajui inampeleka wapi hata wakati unakuta mtu anapanga mtu anajipangia mambo yake nataka mwaka hii ingine nataka miaka hii ingine niwe namna hii hiyo unajipangia lakini one thing you should know that we are in darkness and that's why people are caught unaware binadamu anakuta anafanya hii anafanya hii lakini yeye hajui hata siku zake hapa za kuishi hata haelewi mtu at his prime age unakuta ameenda eh Psalms 50 verse 16 eh eh Psalms 50 verse 16 ebu tusikie but unto the wicked god say what has thou to do to declare my statutes mhm or that thou should take my covenant in thy mouth mhm yes that is it seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee ebu soma Kiswahili bali bali mtu asiye haki Mungu amwambia Una nini wewe kuitangaza sheria yangu na kuliweka agano langu kinywani mwako That is it 
Yaani Mungu, yaani binadamu amepotea mpaka hata wengine wakihubiri. Hawajui wakati wanasema ati Mungu anawapenda hata hawaelewi Mungu hata ataikusikia hiyo mahubiri yao. Kwa sababu yeye kama is among the 99 no yani ambaye ni sheep that wanajifanya ni watoto wa Mungu wako kanisani na si watoto wa Mungu. Hata kana kwamba una anahubiri ama ama anafundisha nini? Mungu anauliza nani amekupatia ruhusa kuweka maneno yangu katika kinywa chako. Nasema ni Psalm 16. Isina. Na hapo tu tumesema the wicked are so far lost that they know no yani not where they are going. Isina. Perhaps they think the way they go in will bring them to heaven. Kwa sababu wakati amechukua maneno ya Mungu anaweka kinywani chake na anaanza kuhubiri, anafikiri hiyo je itafanya nini? Itampeleka bikuni. When, when it is the highway to hell. The God of this world has blinded their eyes. So they have lost themselves to such a degree that they know not the way to return home to God. And from when and from hence they are, they take byways and following blind guides who are lost as well as they yani wamepotea mpaka hata hawajui jia ya kurudi kwa yani kwa Mungu mpaka wamechukua jia and byways ambaye zinavurisha na watu wengine ambaye hata wao ni nani ni bivamo kama nani kama wao kwa hivyo nyinyi wote mna 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 nani wapo umepotea nyinyi wote kipofu ndio anakuongoza na wewe ni kipofu kwa hivyo binadamu amepotea kabisa mpaka yeye mwenyewe hajui kabisa hata amepotea you see something to return home by the light of their own natural conscience which they call Christ within with them natural conscience conscience yake ndio anafikiria ndio itamrudisha kwa nani kwa Mungu yale anafikiria juu hizo conscience anafikiri hiyo sasa akikaa akifikiria juu ya Mungu conscience yake vile anamwambia anaona kana kwamba hiyo ndio jia sasa ya kwenda kwa Mungu na ataka na atakaa pale anafikiri sasa ako sawa but hajui even his conscience imefanya nini is corrupt by nature your conscience is corrupt Konsazi yako the means yetu zilikufa. Hata wakati unaona mtu akifikiria ati kuna konsazi hakuna. Konsazi the renewed conscience must be renewed by the grace of God and that is what we call salvation. You see? Even it is that the light that is that that is in all men is at best but a defined quality. These therefore have lost the true savior for is Jesus of another not real person without us in the spirit of Christ in all sorry is the spirit of Christ in all no because the world could not receive the holy spirit dunia this 99 cannot receive the holy spirit why kwa sababu the god will not give them god will not give them the holy spirit other things to return home to god by leading a sober moral life doing to all men as they would be done unto unto which indeed in effect is the same with the former for the light in every man's conscience will teach him thus to do wengine wanafikiri by morals wanaweza rudi kwa Mungu ama self righteousness naweza kurudi kwa Mungu but still it can't other things to return to God by their prayers and tears or by their repentance and formation of life some it may be feared think if they cry lord have mercy upon me on a death bed and knowledge their sin they shall be saved though they never truly believe in Christ there is no any other way of salvation my, my brethren it is to be born again in our lord jesus christ christ came to to, to search for 
lost sheep. Some think return to God by the power of their own depraved will. Mutuna fikiri by his own power, he can go back to God. Iyo haiwezekani. Some think they were born Christian and in a saved state because their parents were Protestant or that they were made Christian by their baptism. Nor is it any marvel when they are told that they were thereby made members of Christ, children of God, and inheritors of the kingdom of heaven. When they are saved because they are saved because they are saved katika makanisa na wao wanakuja kwa kanisa wanafikiri because of that they are saved hakuna kitu kama hiyo because kama ingekuwa namna hiyo even hawa na 89 ambaye Christ aliwacha in wilderness walikuwa wamesoma kanisa kwa nani si ni kwa wazazi yeah. hivyo it is not your parents church ambaye itakupeleka mbinguni it is Christ church when you are born again sasa Nani akona swali? 